Hey everybody and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to explore some descriptive statistics and so we are going to use the exp exploration uh, module here to play with the descriptive stats and, and kind of go through some results. So I'm going to go ahead and set up some data and we will come back to it. Okay, so you can see here I have my data all set up. Uh, I have, uh, what is this, seven variables. Uh, I have my ID, 20, I have 25 participants, 25 cases. I, you can see this data was taken from um, some sort of Canadian uh, instructor or um, Canadian uh, survey because I have my two provinces here, Alberta and British Columbia, which I believe border each other. Um, I have gender, male and female. Um, I have two ethnicities here, white and black. Um, I have age, and you can see that I've changed age to a scale or continuous variable, so something that is either interval or ratio scale. I have religion, and there were five levels, um, but other is not represented in this set. So um, this is only levels one through four, um, Protestant, Catholic, Jewish, and none. And then we have another continuous scale variable, Ma education, <laughs> which is great. Uh, it is uh, years of mother's education. So I can open it up and here you can, uh, years of schooling, I'm sorry. Um, and so I put that uh, broader description here in the description of that and I changed it to a continuous variable. So here we have the data and now we can go back to analyses to run our descriptive stats. I'm going to go ahead and bring this in because that's all we need to see. And under exploration, um, all I have installed is descriptives, which is the basic module here. And what I'm going to do is uh, several questions that I've asked my students to uh, answer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get those. So the first thing I want to do is put the variables in here. And so I have asked for gender, ethnicity, religion, and province. So let's go ahead and grab those. So I'm going to use my command key. And for uh, Windows PCs, you would use control in this case to select the ones that you want that aren't in order. So I'm selecting all of my nominal variables here. And I'm going to go ahead and plop them over into the variables window. And um, I ask for frequency tables. So this is the frequencies, uh, a frequency in the set of 25 for each of these categorical variables. I also ask for statistics. So we get the sample size. Um, you can get your N, so your total sample size. You can get how many missing you have, so that those are checked by default. The other two um, situations here that are by default are my central tendency measures. So mean and median will get added. I'm also going to grab my mode. Um, so the mean is the average, the median is the 50% point, the mode is the most frequent um, or most occurring value in the distribution. I'm also going to grab some just because I can uh, for all of these variables. Um, and you can get your quartiles, you can also get cut points. I'm going to go ahead and leave cut points checked off here. Uh, but you could get however many equal groups out of the 25 or whatever your N is. Um, you can get cut points for how to set up. So you could use Jamovi here to um, make groups, uh, four equal groups, for example, or three equal groups or, or 20 equal groups, depending on how big your sample is, and get those cut points. Um, but I, I'm, I'm just going to get quartiles here, which is going to give me the 25th, 50th, and 75th. Dispersion over here, the minimum and maximum are checked by default, and so there is the minimum and maximum. And you can see when I check the rest of these dispersion, they will come in at the same point. So your central tendencies will be over here, and your dispersions will be also in the same part of the table. You can see as I'm adding them, they come in um, where they uh, are grouped together except for the standard error of the mean because that goes with the mean. So that's that's variance associated with um, how good my my statistic is. So how close am I 
to the uh, population parameter uh, in the um, mean sample. Okay. Um, I can also get skewness and kurtosis. Skewness tells me whether I have a normal distribution or a uh, dispersed uh, or a, a you know a a uh, skewed with a tail distribution, so not normal. And then kurtosis tells me how pointy uh, it is. And so uh, here we have those values here that they pop in. And you also get the uh, standard error of kurtosis. And then the additional um, mark you the additional statistic you can get is the Shapiro Wilk normality. Um, so you get the W and the P value for the W uh, for the the W. And this tells you whether or not you violate normality, yes or no. And uh, it appears that um, we have a little bit of issue with this in our sample of 25. And that's probably because as a sample of 25. Uh, plots, on the other hand, plots are great because we can get plots. So I'm going to grab the histograms. So this is going to tell me the histograms of each of these four variables. So there they are. I can also add in the density curve for them okay which is going to be odd on a nor on a uh <laughs> on a uh, thing like this because density is is only reading the one and the two and and for some reason this it likes to do it this way i'm not entirely sure if i have a uh something wrong but here's a better one here's a better density curve um you can get box plots which are great box pots are um, pretty amazing. Not generally useful for uh, uh, a categorical variable, to be honest with you. Um, I, mean, I am going to um, add in the two other, you know what, I'm just going to add in the two other ones here uh, so they make more sense. Uh, my education, come on, you can do it. So those look a little bit better with their density curves and their box plots. You can also put the violin on these box plots. So here's the violin for my education, and here's the violin for um, age, and it just it tells you the density uh, around the box plot and why your your quartiles are where they are, which is great. You can get a bar plot, which is essentially um, mapping the or plotting the mean and then i assume this is the standard error of the mean so you can also get a data jitter which will be the dots sort of offset here so here's the the jitter associated with it and even though they technically should just be one and two they're jittered around two and one to show um the dispersion Okay, it works better on again a uh, a continuous variable here, and so you can see the jitter of plots. It's not super readable here, but um, transferring this over or playing with the R, uh, playing with the R code and ggplot might uh, produce better produce better plots, and you can change the color and you can decrease or increase the contrast between the dots and the rest of the plot and that sort of thing. You can also get QQ plots as well, which will give the residual um, in the theoretical quantiles versus their actual residuals. So those that is how you do descriptive statistics, and you get all of this information to then go ahead and answer um, basic questions about frequencies uh, among your variables. The other thing you can do is um, split by a uh, categorical variable. And so if you had a number of uh, continuous variables and you wanted to separate those continuous variables descriptives by gender or by religion or something like that, you would put it in here and you can see that this box, the only variables that are allowed in it are of the nominal variety the ones with the the little venn diagram so that's where you would put split and you would get um all of these statistics and all of these plots split out for you which is really useful so that is descriptive statistics in jamovi please leave a like if you liked this content please subscribe if you want to see more please leave your 
uh, questions and feedback down below. I will get to them. I promise. Thanks for watching another Jamovi tutorial. Bye.